I've had my C8 for around 10,000 miles now, and in this video, I'm gonna be going over my experience with it, what I've done to it so far, what I plan to do with it, and just overall my experience with the car, what cars I was looking at beforehand, because I was actually looking at a couple of other different cars before getting the C8, um, and just initially, really quickly. Let me show you guys what I've done to the interior. So I've added <clears throat> these carbon fiber paddles. These are super cool. They actually extend all the way down on both sides really nicely. These have been a great addition. You can't even tell the old ones are there. That's awesome. And then also, I got some carbon fiber trim on all sides, which looks really, really nice. So that's everything I've done to the interior. I mean, I have gotten the all weather mats, which have been really useful, but the carbon fiber trim just really cleans everything up. And it matches the seats too, which is super cool, really nice. Um, I love those couple of things, so I would highly recommend getting them. So having had this car for about a year, um, I wanna add more power to it. And I'm not saying that it has too little power to begin with. I think it's actually a little bit less than what it actually needs. Um, and it's almost perfect for the kind of car it is. If you think about it, this is theoretically a base Corvette. Um, we've still got the Z06 coming, uh, maybe a Grand Sport. Um, we've definitely got an electric one coming and even a ZR1, right? So there's a lot to come. Um, in, in terms of this car. Now, obviously getting the Z06 has been incredibly difficult for people. I personally don't wanna wait. I don't wanna fork up the money for it. I could just rather, you know, pimp out this car with the power that I need, and it can be a unique version of, you know, the standard C8 um, that'll be different to everyone else's, which is really, really cool. I really like that idea, just making it my own, right? Now, when I first got this car, I'll put up some clips on the screen now. I was considering getting a Mercedes AMG GT. Uh, probably a GTS, maybe a GTC. I even test drove a GTR that was tuned, and that was insane. was also considering before this a scat pack i mean completely different league this is like way out of its league um as in terms of handling and whatnot um, but that amg was really my second like i was my second pick i was about to get that car now as far as power ads what i've done like i showed you guys a minute ago um i added in the carbon fiber paddle shifters here which have been really nice i love them you can't even tell the difference and then like i showed you guys earlier these carbon tri uh, carbon fiber trim pieces which match really nicely with the seat. So that's been really great. And now the next bit that I'm gonna be working on is power. So in my previous video, I showed installing a um, attack blue air filter, which according to their dynos and a lot of different tests by, done by a lot of people, it adds anywhere from seven to 10 horsepower and seven to 10 pound feet of torque. I've had that in for maybe a week, week and a half. I can definitely tell a difference. I do not think it's a placebo effect. Um, I don't think it's just my head. After driving it, I can tell, especially at the higher rev ranges or when I'm going faster speeds, it feels like there's a little bit more to give. So that's super cool. And then the intake noise sounds a little bit different. So that's sweet. But now I wanna add like 20 horsepower with a new exhaust. So I'm looking to add a Paragon Performance exhaust, most likely. Um, I'm either gonna add the track or the touring. I'm probably leaning more towards touring just so it can stay pretty daily drivable. I mean, it's already pretty loud as it is. Um, the touring will make it even louder. And there's four options for exhaust tips. I'm gonna put them up on the screen right now. <clears throat> I want you guys to vote. Put in the comments below which one you think I should get. So there is a matte carbon with a blue tip. There's a gloss carbon with a blue tip. There's a gloss carbon with a black tip. And then the matte carbon with the black tip. Those are the four that I'm thinking about getting. I think I really like the 
gloss ones just because it matches some of the interior carbon fiber trim pieces right and this is gloss carbon it's not it's not matte and I think it looks really nice, looks really classy. It looks really sporty as well. I think it looks great. I don't know if classy is the right word for it. Um, and they add around 14 to I think 16 horsepower and 16 pound feet of torque, which is awesome. So considering all my gains and you know, we can be a little bit, um, we don't have to be conservative here. Say we're adding 10 horsepower, we're at 505. Say we're adding another 20, we're at 525, right? at the wheels, I'm pretty sure. Um, I may need to check my math on that and, and make sure. But that's overall pretty solid, right? So I wanna make sure that <clears throat> my goal is to get to as close to 600 as possible. I want this car to be making 600 horsepower and right around 600 pound-feet of torque. Now, I think what I'm gonna need next after the exhaust is most likely some kind of a supercharger or twin turbos. I really would like to do a supercharger, just a bolt-on on top. I'm just waiting for one that's available for the hardtop convertible. Tennessee Performance has one coming out. Lingingfelter, and I think even Paragon Performance. So there's a couple out there. Now, before that, because it's gonna be hard to get some of that in place, I'm gonna get the exhaust on. That'll get me up, let's just say, to around 530, right? We can round up 525, 520, right? To add some more horsepower, there's a throttle body that you can add that I've heard is really, really good. Just get more air in. I just want to do anything to get more air in. And then I could add a full out cold air intake, um, which can add even more horsepower. The Corsa Performance Carbon Fiber Air Intake adds another 14 horsepower and 13 pound-feet of torque, which is awesome, right? So if we can keep everything we have, you know, that'll add on top of that. Let's just call it another 15. We're we're right at 550, right? We're gonna need a supercharger or something. There's probably some other small things we can do. Um, and then, you know, right around then, I can probably leave it and I'll probably work on some more like, um, you know, um, cosmetic mods, thinking about getting wheel spacers to make the wheels look a little bit wider, maybe even getting wider wheels in the back. I've seen people do that. Uh, maybe some slotted rotors would look really nice. There's a couple of small things that I may consider doing to the outside of the car. Um, but yeah, let, let's talk about my ownership experience about a year in. I'll show you right here. Switch it back to sport or something that shows the mileage. So right at 11,000 miles. So I've had this for about 10,000 miles. It has been so much fun. Okay, this car has been a blast. It's pretty much my first like real supercar. Uh, for those of you that don't know, I went from a Kia manual, like really old Kia, uh, to a Kia Stinger, to a Cadillac CT5, CT4 I think, uh, Sport, or CT4V, not a Blackwing, not a Blackwing, I did not have a Blackwing, and then to this. So it's a pretty crazy jump, and this has been amazing, it's been so much fun. I've driven the AMG GTR that was tuned, I've driven a Camaro ZL1 1 LE, that was a lot of fun, I've driven some other Mustangs and whatnot. This has just been such a fun car to drive one it's been extremely usable and extremely daily drivable you got a frunk and a and pretty much a trunk back there too <clears throat> where you can put more stuff in so that's been amazing it's been very daily drivable you have so many drive modes right and i got i got top of the line i got a i'll pull out the window sticker i got a top of the line wait for this to focus I got a top of the line 3LT um, car, convertible, where's this 3LT package right here. So I got literally the top of the line. The only thing I really didn't get was the um, front lift, but I got Magride Z51, top of the line 3LT um, convertible. And it was, let me get this focus back on me. I've loved driving this car and it has been so much fun. Um, the handling is insane. Um, the zero to 60s are crazy. I've gotten a 2.8 um, second zero to 60 in my car um, and it's been incredible. It's so fast. It's amazing at handling. It's very daily drivable and I love it. I can't say enough good things about the car, right? And a lot of people before I got this car were telling me, wait, wait for the Z06, it'll have more power, yada, yada, yada. Listen, you know, they're in the world of thousand horsepower cars, it can be very easy to throw around that number or you can get a 700 horsepower Hellcat. You can't do much with it besides go fast in a straight line, right? And the interior in here is amazing and looks of this car is just next level. 
and it's been a blast. I can't recommend this car enough. Um, I can't wait to continue to modify it and customize it to my own um, because that's going to be something that I'm really excited about doing. And then eventually, you know, I may trade up to a Z06, but I may keep this car forever because it holds a lot of sentimental value to me. Um, but my next car, definitely looking at a McLaren 720S. Um, I love the 675LT. That's a whole nother level though. And then still the AMG GTR. If they come out with a new one, I may go towards that. A couple of let me go over a few things I love about this car and why it's been so much of a joy to drive. First off, the drive modes, okay? You have got, and excuse the glare, you've got a ton of different drive modes. You can see right now we're in sport. And I'll back up all the way here, flip through some of them. So you have weather mode, that's pretty self-explanatory. Raining, snowing, you can drive it in the snow. I actually drove it home like an hour and a half in the rain. You've got my mode where you can customize everything about your car, all the settings, the look, the feel, it's awesome. You've got tour mode, which is if you're just cruising along, one in the comfiest setting, that's tour mode. You've got sport mode, which is amps everything up just a little bit more. And you've got track mode, which is the most aggressive setting. It dials everything to 11, you're ready to go. And on top of that, you have the Z mode button right here. When you click this, it's another customization option, right? So Chevrolet, I think, advertised it as like, if you're driving on the way home and there's a twisty bit that you wanna go fast in, you press that, you're good. You press out of it, you're back to your normal drive mode, right? And what's even crazier is when you're in track mode, there are even more modes, it's insane. You double press this button right here, I think I actually need to be in drive right now. There we go. It adds performance traction management. So then you have a wet mode, dry, sport one, sport two, and race. So this even dials things even further to more customization where you can choose what performance traction management mode you want. I use this a lot of the time when I'm doing zero to 60s or I really wanna push the car to its limits. <clears throat> and it's been amazing, right? Super cool stuff, a ton of really, really cool features. And there's a ton of other features that I'm not gonna go over everything in this video. There are a ton of channels out there that will go over the different features and you can go check those out. But overall, my personal experience, I've had this car for a little bit over a year now, um, around 10,000 miles driven on it. And I've loved every, every second in this car, right? It's totally been worth it to me. Um, you know, even the white interior, I was so nervous about getting these seats in the white interior, but they've been worth it. They've been so much fun um, and they're, it's amazing. So can't recommend this car this enough. Any Overall, the car is great. It does have some flaws and it's not perfect, but from my experience so far with it and the customization options moving forward, I love the car. Anyway, before I cut off the video, um, one, I'm just gonna get some clips of me driving in it. And then finally, please comment below what um, exhaust tip you think I should be getting. Um, I am, I really love the idea of the blue tips. Um, I think they look really, really cool. So I'm either leaning towards that one or the completely all black. And I'm probably thinking gloss. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. And then like I said, the next things that we're gonna be doing, just to sum that up, we're gonna be doing a new exhaust to add another 20 horsepower, 20 torque, just about. I wanna do a full cold air intake to add another 14, 15 horsepower and torque. I wanna get new rims, maybe slotted rotors, wheel spacers to make it, everything look a little, bit, a little bit fatter, a little bit wider. Um, and yeah, and then what I've done so far, just to wrap that up, cold air, or just an air intake, um, a new air filter, sorry, um, a tack blue air filter, um, carbon fiber trim pieces, and I mean, I've tinted the windows, so that, that is something you guys probably can't tell, but I've tinted all the windows, so that's been really, really awesome, and it makes the car look really badass. So I'm gonna get some clips of me driving. With that being said, thank you for watching this video. If you're on the fence about a C8, get one. If you're thinking about waiting for the Z06, Obviously, I don't know your financial situation. <clears throat> if you have the finances and you wanna do it, sure, wait. Or you can just pick up a C8, slap a supercharger on it, slap a new exhaust, make it your very own and make it totally unique and amp up the power. That's my view on it. Um, I think this car is more than enough. Even if you have owned a ton of other cars with high horsepower, it's a completely different driving experience. It's not all about the power. It's about the driving experience and the driving experience I get from this is amazing. So that being said, gonna get some clips. I'll see you guys in the next video. Let me know what you want me to do next um, because the next video is probably gonna be me installing the exhaust. Um, but if there's anything you wanna see before that, just comment below. I'm glad to do you know, zero to 60 times, 
quarter mile times, you know, racing around, doing whatever you want to see. Um, I want to get out some new content out there for the C8 Corvette that hasn't been out there before from others. Because um, I feel like there's some stuff that's lacking that, you know, you guys would like to see. See you in the next one. Thanks for watching.